I'm looking at the direct and indirect cost of the war in Afghanistan. The actual war has already cost us about $700 billion, but once we withdraw U.S. troops, the costs continue to mount. Nobel laureate Joseph Stiglitz and Harvard professor Linda Bilmes write in the FT, the eventual cost of caring for veterans of the Afghanistan war will exceed a trillion dollars. Just to put these numbers into perspective, the debate surrounding the fiscal cliff has centered on expenditure cuts over 10 years of one to two trillion dollars. They say that poor decision making on wars in Afghanistan and Iraq before that will continue to be a drain on the U.S. economy as Washington argues over how to balance our books. Hmm. An interesting geopolitical spin there on the deficit, but important to remember how costly. Absolutely. And Joseph Stiglitz will be on Bloomberg television as well. He's and in also, Davos right now. We're going to have a conversation about the sequestration, those budget cuts yes. that are set to take effect March 1st. So far, there's really been no movement to prevent them, how that'll impact defense. Sam Grovard, our guest host for the hour, he's the technology editor for Bloomberg Business Week, has brought us a morning must read. I have. Uh -huh. So, um, Google's up to something. Google's up, okay. Google it's up always to up to something, something it isn't is it? It's always up to something, but it's up to something rather interesting right now. According to the Digits blog at the Wall Street Journal, uh, Amir Afradi and Anton Troivanovsky have reported that Google, according to what they wrote here, last week submitted an application to the Federal Communications Commission asking for an experimental license to create an experimental radio service with a two-mile radius covering its headquarters. And the speculation here is that Google might get into the wireless data business with a new type of technology, not Wi-Fi, that would be more robust, more reliable, and would begin to compete perhaps with mobile operators. They've already gotten into the wireline business in Kansas City where they set up a digital network. This might be something they would And the add Chelsea knew, the Chelsea neighborhood That's in right. New York City. They have part of diversifying its revenue base? Absolutely. And they have a network in Mountain View, California, where they're headquartered, and also in Chelsea, where they have their second largest office in New York. What do analysts say about this? Are, is anyone even talking about this? Nobody's really said anything at this point, although the speculation is that Google would want to use its Motorola division ah. to help build out the kind of equipment needed to propagate these types of networks around the country.